All right, so um, I just wanted to break down real quick uh, a set I saw by Cannon High against um, Rancho Christian with Evan Mobley. Um, Cannon High ran a pick and roll, but it's not a normal pick and roll. All right, what I mean by that is um, it's, it's called a European pick and roll, right? Um, the first time I saw it was about five years ago. Um, it got real popular over Europe. And um, Houston Rockets with, with James Harden and uh, Dan Tony, they took it and ran with it and brought it over to the States. And they made it real popular. Um, and then a lot of teams started doing it in the NBA. They all got little tweaks to it, but they all started doing it. And it trickled down to the high school level, obviously. You see Rick Brunson and Ken High running it. All right. Really, really tough to stop in man to man really hard especially if you had the personnel that Canada High has all right so I just want to show you this this um this sequence this scheme that Canada High was running with the pick and roll and again as always coaches you can use it how you see fit in your organization but it is it's, it's a really uh it's, it's really good actions in this really good actions that I'm sure that you can use in your scheme all right so, um, let's go through it. Let's go through it. In a second. All right, so this is how it looks, right? All right, so how it works is um, a lot of teams are uh, starting to hedge ball screens, starting to show on ball screens, starting to ice ball screens. There's a lot of different coverages for ball screens now right so this alleviates all that all right so the things that you need in this all right you you need to have a point guard that um can see the floor well all right Wh why do you need a point guard that can see the floor well all right because it's it's a ton of reads in this that um not a ton of reads it's, it's only three reads in this all right um the point guard's job is to you either Come off of this and you get a layup. That's the first thing. All right, you come off this and you get a layup. All right, you have Lance setting the first screen. All right, on this guy, and then you have DJ setting the second screen on Evan Mobley. the The second screen that DJ is setting is is what really makes this play pretty tough to defend and really hard to stop. Right, because Evan Mobley is going to come out and either show, he's going to hedge, he's going to try to ice this ball screen right so that's what really confuses the defense okay because Evan Mobley don't know that DJ's behind him about to set another screen he has no idea so he's going to run right into DJ and basically a wall right because it's blind to him right now and Sebastian has a chance to go for the layup all right Sebastian didn't do that he denied the ball screen right here but I just want to show y'all what's the first option on that okay the second option is after Lance sets the ball screen he dives to the basket now, this is what makes this play, like, really unstoppable if you have the personnel for it. Lance diving to the basket, um, Sebastian's job is to, if, uh, if he don't have a layup, he give it to Lance on the lob. All right, that's why the kid, um, Clint Capella in Houston, was getting all these dunks, and that's why he got a big payday. It was really because of this play. All right, if you do your research on the Houston Rockets and – uh, type in European pick and roll on YouTube. You'll see that it's a whole bunch of lobs happening in the Clint Capella, James Harden getting layups. All right. Now the third step is what separates this though. All right. Because if you take away Sebastian driving to the basket for a layup, you take away Lance with the lob at the basket. The third part is after DJ sets this ball, this back screen on Evan Mobley, he pops for a jump shot middle. It's it's damn near possible to, to stop all that. Unless you blitz in the pick and roll, it's, it's, it's too much going on. It's damn near impossible to stop all that. It, um, especially if you don't have the personnel to do so. All right. So as you see right here, to go a little further, Sebastian even comes off the screen wrong. Right. He comes off the screen wrong. He should have went to the right. Like, that's what I'm saying. Camden High wasn't even doing this totally the right way. Right. But they still had success and, and got open shots off of it. Sebastian went left when he should have went right off the screen. But look what it did still, though. Evan Mobley, 
Evan Mobley in the point guard. Um, Evan Mobley in the point guard right here. Look how confused they are. All right, you got Sebastian with a wide open attempt to the to the basket. All right, Sebastian with a wide open attempt to the basket. All right, um, all because they were confused. All because they were confused. All right, that's what you want. Okay, that's why it's a really good set. Now Sebastian missed missed this shot, but you see the confusion that it brings to the defense. All right, it's 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 a really good set that uh. I see a lot of I see a couple of high school coaches starting to do it, but not enough. All right, it's it's a really good set that I think a lot more coaches, if if you had a personnel to do so, I think they should start doing. All right, now granted, um, everybody don't have a six eight Lance Ware, all right, and a, and a DJ Wagner that's coming off this uh that's coming off this back screen for a shot. I, I understand that, but. You are still confusing the defense, right? So you still getting movement on the defense that's not gonna happen in your traditional offense. All right, so that's a start. I don't know what type of personnel y'all have, but it's a start to getting the defense confused. All right, you as a coach, you figure out what you want to do after that if you don't have the personnel. But what I'm saying is this is a start. But if you do have this personnel, um, you need to try to run it, okay? And another thing about the guy that's in Lance's position in high school basketball, the guy that's in Lance's position. Um. Um. He he's not gonna he he's not gonna come off. Uh, he's not, he's not gonna come off. Um. Open that much, right? I'm talking about on the dive. He's not gonna come off open that much because most of the time it's not six eight guys. Uh. Um. Dive into the basket, right? It's not six eight guys. It's six two, six one, six foot, five eleven centers in high school basketball, right? They're not six eight like Lance, so that's not gonna come off. But again, it's other reads that's gonna come off open all the time. Like where DJ's at right now, where DJ's at right now, and DJ setting this back screen on Evan Mobley and then popping to this middle is gonna come open. 99% of the time if you do this right. Like I said, I'm only going to show you three plays of when Cam High did it. They didn't even totally do it right, right? But they still got open attempts all three times, right? Because it's so much confusion that this brings you, all right? As you see right here. So again, DJ setting the back pick on Evan Mobley. Lance is setting the first ball screen, all right? Sebastian is driving like he's trying to attack. Looking for Lance um, diving to the rim or looking for his own shot. Or the last resort is DJ popping, which 99% of the time, DJ popping is going to be wide open. As you see, Sebastian comes off. DJ sets the back screen for Lance. Look at this. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Look at this guy right here. Lost, right? I'm not even going to say he lost, but again, he might be worrying about Lance diving to the rim. Forget all about DJ. How can you leave DJ Wagner, right? Because he got a decision to make. Do I go with Lance Ware or do I leave DJ Wagner, right? He chose to leave DJ Wagner. Bam. And he actually got out pretty, pretty fast. But again, it's DJ Wagner. So that's why in this structure, you should put your best shooter here and all chips fall after that. There's nothing the defense can do. Nothing the defense can do, right? Like I said, it's a it's a it's a really good um it's really good action, man. It's really good action. Especially if again, if you got the personnel for it. All right, if you got a point guard that can navigate a defense, if you got a, a athletic big that you can roll to the rim, and if you got a shooter like DJ Wagner, you in business. You in business. All right, it's pretty much unstoppable. <laughs> it's pretty much unstoppable. If you got those three components but again like I said before if you don't have those three components you can still run it you can still run it all right it'll still work all right you got a guy that could dish the basketball and you got a shooter you can still you can still put it off but if you got these three components this play is damn near impossible so I'm gonna show y'all one more time again look at the setup all right Lance is Lance is about to set the um screen for Sion DJ's coming, setting the back screen for Lance. And again, for y'all coaches that's teaching this, remember to tell your kids, all right, this is not a traditional um, 
back. This is not a traditional screen that we got DJ setting. He's setting a back screen, not a regular screen. Lance is setting a regular screen on Sion. All right, and then he's diving to the rim. Okay, DJ's not setting a regular screen. DJ's setting a back screen. All right, because why? Because he wants when Sion comes off. Okay, Evan Mobley's gonna come out to Sion, and D and we want Evan Mobley to run directly into DJ's back screen. That's how it works. All right, and then DJ pops to the to the middle. Okay, you see Sion navigates. Look at that. Like that's that's like robbery. Like that's oh my god. That's incredible. Like, look at this. Everybody go. Everybody goes to Lance. And again, you can't even blame the kids for um, Rancho Christian for this. All right, because you got to pick your poison. Are you going to give a, a layup up to Sion? Are you going to let Lance get an alley oop dunk at the rim? Or are you going to come out to DJ Wagner? Got to make a choice. That's a beautiful thing about basketball. All right, if you put your kids in the right position, um, the defense has to make a choice. That's what it's all about. All right, making the defense make a choice. All right, and Kanaha again did a great job of this in this game. All right, um, subscribe to the channel um, if you like the video. Press the like button, hit the share button, comment below. Um, any questions you have, any debates you have, anything you didn't like, um, let's talk about it. All right, talk to you guys soon.